There are many different factors which help you when you're practicing and training in self-defense and Hapkido. One of these factors is arm strength. By having your forearms to be strong and firm, this helps when you're actually blocking and then also when you're completing that self-defense technique. In this video, I'm going to go over one of my push-up routines which helps strengthen the actual arms themselves. If you're ready, let's get started. With this routine, there are three basic parts. The first part is the initial push-up itself. The second part is then when we give a 10 second rest in between. And then the third part is then when we do the final push-ups, but there are three sets of 12 push-ups. With this push-up, the most important part is that the push-up is done on the actual knuckles themselves. And when you're doing it on the knuckles, it is very important to keep the knuckles closed and tense all the time, even when you're stopping in the middle and resting. Because the tighter you have the actual knuckles and closing your actual fist like this and tensing it, the harder the actual push-ups will become. So let's start by showing you how we actually do just a very basic knuckle push-up on the knuckles. And when you're doing the knuckle push-up, you're doing the push-up on these two knuckles here. When we do the push-up, there are several things to take into account that you need to do. We're going to just show you the normal just um, push-up on the palms of our hands. And what you want to make sure is that you're on the toes of your feet, your back is straight, you tense your stomach muscles, my hands are just level with my shoulders, and they're my shoulder width distance apart. So if I go down, I'm just having my hands underneath my shoulders here, like so. And the other important thing to do as well is when you are actually doing the push-up when you go down you turn the head to the side the last thing you want to do is be facing the floor itself if something maybe gives in your arm the last thing you want to do is then go straight onto your face when you go down if you're turning your head to the side if unfortunately something happened you went down you would land on the side of your face so it's important, as I said, to turn the face to the side. So we have on our toes, our back is nice and straight. We're tensing the stomach muscles. We are shoulder width apart. Our arms are not out, they're into the side. And we're turning our head to the side, whether it's to the left hand side or the right hand side. And at the beginning, you're on the palms of your hands. Now, some people like to have their fingers dispersed out, or you can have them closed. It's whatever's comfortable with yourself. So that's just doing the basic actual push-up itself. So let's do that. Down and up. Making sure when you come back up, you come back up past the 90 degree angle of your arm. So you don't just come up to here and down come past it all the way up and then up like so now when you're doing the knuckle push-up we're doing the push-up on as we saw these first two knuckles so all we need to do we need to make a fist you make a fist by closing from the fingers down like so and then put in the thumb across and we're going to go and put the pressure on the two knuckles. Like so. And when we go down, we're on the two knuckles and we're pushing up. Like so. Keeping our hands firmly closed all the time. And as you see, we're just on the two knuckles themselves. So, let's start by doing the actual push-up itself. 
So as we said, the first part is we're going to do two sets of 12. So we're going to do 24 push-ups. Now whatever you do, whether you're doing 12 or 6, whatever number you decide to pick, part 1 is always double the number of push-ups than you're going to be doing when you're doing the next set of push-ups. I like to do sets of 12, so I'm going to do two sets of 12 to 24. Then from there then, we're going to pause and we take a break for 10 seconds. So let's just do the first part. Now, the next part is we stop and rest. We stop and rest for 10 seconds. But the most important part to this is that you do not open your knuckles. As you see, I still have my knuckles, my hands clenched and tight. So all I'm doing now, I'm just gonna rest for 10 seconds. So, we rest for 10 seconds, but as you saw, my hands, I do not open my hands, I keep my hands, my knuckles, nice and firmly closed. And then we go into the next part, part three, and this is where we're going to then do the next set of push-ups. With the push-ups this time, I'm just going to be doing 12, is one set. So we're going to do 12 push-ups, and then we're going to rest again. So that's the first set, and the same again. We rest, but when we're resting, you're keeping your hands closed. Do not open them. The tighter you hold these and the firmer and tighter you grip, the actual harder it becomes with the actual push-ups themselves. So that's for you to decide how tense you keep your knuckles. So we're gonna rest and go for 10 seconds. And then we go into the second set of 12 push-ups. And again, we then stop, we pause. Again, making sure do not open the knuckles. Keep them closed and you have them as closed and as tense as you want to, and then we do again, we pause for the 10 seconds. And then the last time, we do the final set of 12 push-ups. Now, that is the actual push-up routine, which helps strengthen your arms. What I'm going to do now is the full push-up routine.
and that is my push-up routine to help strengthen the arms. Below is a link somewhere in the bottom left hand corner or maybe the top for the next video on exercise workouts so you can go and learn and practice them for yourself. As always, until the next time, Gamsa Heinida.